back in week three. The Packers lost the thriller in their previous game against the Lions. Can Detroit do it again? Find out next on Madden NFL 22. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Green Bay Packers. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October we go on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. On first and ten, Love. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Well, if they have any thoughts of coming in here and getting this road victory, that's not the way to start it out on the first play of the game. Yeah, one thing you always say when you go on the road, take the crowd out of the game. They actually brought the crowd into it by permitting that sack right out of the gate. Another try after the first down sack. Love. This one complete to Lacey. That catch good for five. It's third down. Now, this defense for the Lions, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them, in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as they'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. These two teams, you might recall, met up back in September in week three. And it was the Lions who got the road victory in that one. So they'll be looking to claim the season series now here at home in Detroit. Second and nine. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Off the play fake. Curran. He's going to float this one deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down inside of Green Bay's 15-yard line. Big play there for Detroit. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Up 
On third down, Holiday, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season, and the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves job that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to pull coverage here. Love looking to throw it. And that is incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. A big kick that time, 52 yards, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big connection on that one. 37 yards. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. They go play action here on first down. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw on second down. Curran. His throw incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. On third down, Holiday. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Back to throw. Curran. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Alvarado. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to 0.
So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Off the play fake, Love. Oh, this is going to be caught along the sidelines. Probably shouldn't have been caught. He's going to lose yardage there. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now Love. That's complete to his running back, Jefferson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And yeah, that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Holiday. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in passing formation, spread things out a little bit, it makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you've got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Wheeler. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off play action, Curran. And 
his throw is incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Off the play fake. Curran, he's going to take another shot here. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive. Now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. And they will get the first down here as they move into field goal range as well inside the 25. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here are the Lions to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. On first down, Curran. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to get up here to the 26. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's a second down. Looking to throw, Curran. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Alvarado. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. On first and ten, it's Swift. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Throwing on first down, Curran. He finds his man complete. It's Alvarado. And he's got this down to the 35. That's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, Holiday, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Right back to him on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. 
honed in on it and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. 63 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. They'll try to run this one in. They yeah, push forward, but I don't think it's enough. He's going to be about a yard short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Blankenship's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense... The way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. After the main field goal, here's Blankenship again. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. To throw now. Here's Love. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Desperation time here. Love on fourth down. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. So on fourth down, a big time completion. And the defense, they've got to be shaking their heads right now. Not only shaking their heads, but understand that they committed one of those cardinal sins that they say they can't do at any time. They committed an eye violation. Had their eyes in one place and allowed the deep ball behind them. Love now to pass on first down. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside. Ball's delivered. Gets both feet down for the completion. Love's throw pulled in by Jefferson. Now correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 
drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Jones. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame whooping has turned into results. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. A huge win defensively there on the sack, setting him back 12 yards. And now third and goal. Love, this is third and goal. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Well, they are able to get 9 yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. Completed pass brings up a fourth down situation. Do you play analytics on this one? Well, you know, what do your analytics tell you about going for it here? I wonder what they would say. They tell me you're down by this margin, fourth quarter. You're going. Warwasser's kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game, and on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the <laughs> pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball, but here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. They've got to get back to that. That means opening things up again, being a little more free in what they're trying to get done on offense. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. to their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On first down, Holiday has some space here. Touchdown, Detroit! A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are closing in on a four and one start as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So here's Love and the Packers. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 55 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. First down, love to pass. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively. That's second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Love now. That's caught right side by Rodgers. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down going to the air with Love. Catch is made by Harry. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. A check down here to Jones. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll make it second down. He sets to fire deep. And incomplete on the deep ball. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To the air again, Love. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a Lion that's shaken up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Lions looking like they're going to come away with a victory. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Throw left side complete. That's Wheeler. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. They'll keep it on the ground. Holiday, and he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. On third down, Holiday, and they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This to make it a three-score game late. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the main field goal, here's Blankenship again. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Thing, a timeout has been called seemingly silly with one second remaining in this game one last shot now for love he's going to let it fly and this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone. As time has run out on this ball game. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, 
Offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished.